Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the fascinating intersections between ancient wisdom and modern science. Today, we're diving deep into the philosophy of Stoicism and how recent advances in neuroscience are shedding new light on its timeless teachings. So, grab a seat, get comfortable, and let's embark on this journey together. Stoicism, originating in ancient Greece and later flourishing in Rome, is a philosophy that emphasizes virtue, self-control, and resilience in the face of adversity. Its teachings have influenced countless individuals throughout history, from Roman emperors to modern-day leaders and thinkers. But what exactly is Stoicism? And how does it relate to neuroscience at its core? Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control and to accept with equanimity what is not. It encourages us to cultivate virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, and to live in accordance with nature. These principles may seem simple on the surface, but their implications are profound, especially when viewed through the lens of neuroscience. Neuroscience, the scientific study of the nervous system and the brain, has made remarkable progress in recent decades, allowing us to peer into the inner workings of the human mind like never before through techniques such as functional magnetic resonance imaging and electroencephalography. Researchers have gained insights into how our brains respond to different thoughts, emotions, and experiences. So, how does neuroscience corroborate Stoicism? Let's explore three key areas where these two disciplines intersect. Emotional regulation, cognitive reframing, and resilience. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. First up, emotional regulation. Stoicism teaches us not to be slaves to our emotions, but to cultivate inner tranquility and resilience. Neuroscience has shown us that our brains are highly adaptable organs, capable of rewiring themselves through neuroplasticity by practicing techniques such as mindfulness and cognitive reappraisal. We can train our brains to regulate our emotions more effectively, just as the Stoics advocated. Cognitive reframing, another cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, involves changing the way we perceive and interpret events. Instead of catastrophizing or dwelling on negative thoughts, Stoics encourage us to reframe challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. Neuroscience has demonstrated that this shift in perspective can have profound effects on our brain chemistry, reducing stress levels and promoting greater emotional well-being. When we engage in positive thinking and adopt a stoic mindset, our brains release neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin, which are associated with feelings of pleasure and contentment. In other words, by practicing stoic principles, we can literally rewire our brains for happiness and resilience. Finally, let's talk about resilience. Stoicism teaches us to embrace adversity as a natural part of life and to view obstacles as opportunities for personal growth. Neuroscience has shown us that resilience is not a fixed trait but a skill that can be developed over time. By exposing ourselves to manageable levels of stress and adversity, we can strengthen our resilience muscles and become better equipped to handle life's challenges. When we face adversity with a stoic mindset, our brains undergo a process known as stress inoculation, where exposure to moderate stressors actually enhances our ability to cope with future stressors. This phenomenon, known as hormesis, highlights the profound connection between our thoughts, emotions, and neural circuitry. So, how can we apply these insights to our own lives? Here are a few practical tips. One, practice mindfulness meditation to cultivate inner peace and emotional resilience. Mindfulness meditation is a centuries old practice rooted in Buddhist 
traditions, which has gained significant attention in recent years due to its numerous mental health benefits corroborated by scientific research. At its core, mindfulness meditation involves directing one's attention to the present moment without judgment, allowing thoughts, feelings, and sensations to arise and pass without attachment. One of the key aspects of mindfulness meditation is its focus on awareness of the breath. By anchoring our attention to the rhythmic flow of the breath, we can train our minds to become more present and less entangled in the constant stream of thoughts and emotions. This heightened state of awareness fosters a sense of inner calm and tranquility. Even in the midst of life's inevitable challenges and stressors, moreover, Mindfulness meditation has been shown to have profound effects on the structure and function of the brain. Studies using neuroimaging techniques such as MRI have demonstrated that regular meditation practice can lead to structural changes in the brain, including increased gray matter density in regions associated with attention, emotional regulation, and self-awareness. In addition to its effects on brain structure, Mindfulness meditation also influences brain function by modulating activity in the amygdala, a key brain region involved in processing emotions such as fear and anxiety. Through repeated practice, individuals who engage in mindfulness meditation often report a reduced reactivity to negative stimuli and an increased ability to respond to stressful situations with greater equanimity and resilience. Furthermore, mindfulness meditation fosters a sense of interconnectedness and compassion towards oneself and others. By cultivating an attitude of acceptance and non-judgment towards our own thoughts and emotions, we can develop greater empathy and understanding for the experiences of others, leading to more harmonious relationships and a deeper sense of belonging. In summary, Mindfulness meditation is a powerful tool for cultivating inner peace and emotional resilience by training our minds to be more present, non-reactive, and compassionate. We can navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease and grace. So, whether you're new to meditation or a seasoned practitioner, I encourage you to incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine and experience the transformative benefits for yourself. Two, keep a gratitude journal to foster a positive outlook and appreciation for life's blessings. A gratitude journal is a simple yet powerful tool for cultivating gratitude and shifting our focus towards the abundance that surrounds us. The practice involves regularly writing down things we are thankful for, whether big or small, and reflecting on the positive aspects of our lives. One of the key benefits of keeping a gratitude journal is its ability to reframe our perception of reality. In our fast-paced and often hectic lives, it's easy to get caught up in negativity bias, where our attention is disproportionately drawn to negative events and experiences. By intentionally focusing on the things we are grateful for, we can counteract this bias and train our minds to notice and appreciate the goodness in our lives. Moreover, keeping a gratitude journal has been shown to have profound effects on our mental and emotional well-being. Studies have found that regular gratitude practice is associated with increased feelings of happiness, optimism, and life satisfaction, as well as decreased symptoms of depression and anxiety. The act of writing down what we are grateful for also helps to solidify positive experiences in our memory. When we take the time to reflect on the things that bring us joy and fulfillment, we reinforce neural pathways associated with gratitude and amplify the emotional impact of those experiences. This not only enhances our overall sense of well-being, but also provides a valuable reservoir of positivity to draw upon during challenging times. 
Furthermore, keeping a gratitude journal can have ripple effects that extend beyond ourselves. When we cultivate an attitude of gratitude, we become more attuned to the needs and experiences of others, leading to increased empathy, compassion, and prosocial behavior. By sharing our gratitude with others, whether through acts of kindness, words of appreciation, or simply by being present and attentive listeners, we contribute to a culture of positivity and interconnectedness. In summary, keeping a gratitude journal is a simple yet transformative practice for fostering a positive outlook and appreciation for life's blessings. By regularly acknowledging and reflecting on the things we are grateful for, we can cultivate a deep sense of contentment and fulfillment that transcends the ups and downs of daily life. So, grab a notebook, set aside a few minutes each day, and start reaping the countless benefits of gratitude today. 3. Challenge negative thought patterns through cognitive reframing and stoic exercises, such as the view from above or premeditation malorum. Negative thought patterns, such as catastrophizing, black and white thinking, and self-criticism, can have a profound impact on our mental and emotional well-being, leading to increased stress, anxiety, and depression. However, by engaging in cognitive reframing techniques, we can learn to identify and challenge these unhelpful patterns of thinking, leading to greater resilience and emotional balance. Cognitive reframing involves actively questioning and challenging the accuracy and validity of negative thoughts and beliefs, and replacing them with more realistic and adaptive alternatives. One common technique used in cognitive reframing is called cognitive restructuring, which involves identifying the underlying beliefs and assumptions that contribute to negative thoughts and actively challenging them with evidence and alternative perspectives. Stoic philosophy offers a unique perspective on cognitive reframing, emphasizing the importance of cultivating an attitude of detachment and equanimity towards external events and circumstances. Stoics believe that our perceptions of events are often colored by our judgments and interpretations, and that by questioning and reframing these perceptions, we can attain a greater sense of inner peace and tranquility. One Stoic exercise that is particularly effective for challenging negative thought patterns is the view from above. This exercise involves imagining oneself from a detached third-person perspective, as if observing one's own life from a distance. By adopting this broader perspective, we can gain a more objective view of our problems and challenges, and recognize that many of the things we worry about are ultimately inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. Another stoic exercise that can help challenge negative thought patterns is premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils. This practice involves deliberately contemplating worst-case scenarios and imagining how we would cope with them by mentally preparing ourselves for adversity. We can reduce the fear and anxiety associated with uncertainty and develop greater resilience and fortitude in the face of challenges. In summary, challenging negative thought patterns through cognitive reframing and stoic exercises is a powerful way to cultivate resilience, emotional balance, and inner peace. By questioning the accuracy of our negative thoughts and adopting alternative perspectives, we can free ourselves from the grip of unhelpful patterns of thinking and develop a more adaptive and resilient mindset. So, the next time you find yourself caught in a spiral of negative thinking, remember to pause, question, and reframe your thoughts with the wisdom of the Stoics. Four, seek out adversity and discomfort as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Seeking out adversity and discomfort as opportunities for growth and self-improvement 
may seem counterintuitive at first glance. After all, our natural inclination is often to avoid pain and discomfort, seeking instead the path of least resistance. However, embracing challenges and stepping outside of our comfort zones is essential for personal development and achieving our full potential. Adversity and discomfort serve as catalysts for growth by pushing us beyond our perceived limits and forcing us to confront our fears and insecurities. When we challenge ourselves to face difficult situations head on, we develop resilience, perseverance, and a greater sense of self-efficiency, just as a muscle grows stronger through resistance training. So too, do we grow stronger and more resilient through facing adversity. Moreover, adversity provides us with valuable opportunities for learning and self-discovery. When we encounter obstacles and setbacks, we are forced to adapt, innovate, and develop new strategies for overcoming challenges. In the process, we gain valuable insights into our strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement ultimately leading to personal growth and self-awareness. Furthermore, seeing out adversity can foster a sense of purpose and meaning in our lives. When we embrace challenges with courage and determination, we affirm our commitment to growth and self-improvement, and we derive a sense of satisfaction from knowing that we are actively working towards our goals and aspirations. Adversity becomes not something to be feared or avoided, but rather embraced as an integral part of the journey towards self-actualization. In addition, facing adversity can cultivate empathy and compassion towards others who may be struggling. When we experience hardship ourselves, we gain a deeper understanding of the human experience and develop greater empathy for the challenges faced by others. This in turn, strengthens our connections with others and fosters a sense of solidarity and mutual support. In summary, seeking out adversity and discomfort as opportunities for growth and self-improvement is essential for unlocking our full potential and living a fulfilling life. By embracing challenges with courage, perseverance, and an open mind, we can cultivate resilience, develop new skills, and gain valuable insights into ourselves and the world around us. So, the next time you encounter adversity, remember that it is not a roadblock, but rather a stepping stone on the path to personal growth and fulfillment. Embrace the challenge and watch yourself grow. Five. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who share your commitment to stoic principles and personal development. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who share your commitment to stoic principles and personal development can be a transformative step on your journey towards living a fulfilling and virtuous life. Here's why. Shared values and goals when you surround yourself with individuals who share your commitment to Stoic principles, you create a supportive community where you can openly discuss ideas, share insights, and encourage each other's growth by aligning yourself with like-minded individuals. You reinforce your dedication to living a life of virtue, wisdom, and resilience, positive influence, being around people who embody stoic virtues such as wisdom, courage, and temperance can have a profound influence on your own behavior and mindset. Their example can inspire you to strive for excellence in all aspects of your life and to overcome obstacles with grace and dignity, accountability, and support. Building a network of like-minded individuals provides accountability and support as you work towards your goals. Whether it's holding each other accountable for practicing stoic principles in daily life or providing a listening ear during challenging times, 
having a supportive community can significantly enhance your personal development journey, learning and growth. Engaging with others who share your interest in Stoicism opens up opportunities for continuous learning and growth. Through discussions, book clubs, and workshops, you can deepen your understanding of Stoic philosophy, exchange ideas, and gain new perspectives that enrich your own practice. Sense of belonging, connecting with like-minded individuals, fosters a sense of belonging and camaraderie. Knowing that you are part of a community that values the same principles and ideals as you do. This sense of belonging can provide comfort, encouragement, and motivation, especially during times of adversity, expanding your circle of influence. As you surround yourself with like-minded individuals, you also have the opportunity to positively influence others and contribute to the growth of the community. By sharing your knowledge, insights and experiences, you can inspire others to embrace Stoic principles and lead more fulfilling lives. In summary, surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who share your commitment to Stoic principles and personal development can have a profound impact on your journey towards living a life of virtue and excellence. By fostering a supportive community, you create an environment where you can learn, grow, and thrive together, drawing strength and inspiration from each other along the way. So, seek out those who share your values, cultivate meaningful connections, and together embark on the path towards a more stoic way of life by integrating Stoic philosophy with the latest findings from neuroscience, we can unlock new pathways to personal growth, resilience, and fulfillment. So, let's embrace the wisdom of the ancients and embark on this journey together. Remember, as the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the intersection of ancient wisdom and modern science. Until next time, stay stoic and stay curious.